hey guys welcome back to my channel it's 2018 guys so many new things are happening right now um i know i have not posted like an actual makeup related video in about a month or so but if you've been watching my vlogs as i've been saying i've been going through like a move i've basically been moving from philadelphia back to miami where i'm originally from so not like I had much of a setup before, but everything just completely changed and my current, like my house has really terrible lighting and I'm currently sitting in my mom's bathroom, which has the best lighting in the whole house. However, it also has the most noise because it's right next to the street. So if you do hear any cars or trucks passing by, I really do apologize for that. Um, you know, I'm going to try to make this work. I am ordering a ring light once I finally get paid for my new job. Um, so that I can film in my room instead which would be a little bit more quiet but you know we're gonna make it work 2018 is the year of no excuses I am going to try to film get my two videos out for you guys every single week maybe I can do three if my schedule allows because I am working a lot of hours these days but you know it is what it is and we're just gonna jump right into it for today's video, I'm going to be going over my favorite products from 2017. I have a bare face and I'm going to show you guys how I use all these products all together because they are all my favorites and I may as well put them all into one amazing video. So if you want to see what I end up creating, just stay tuned. So for my brows, um, these are my brows. These are my real brows. I have not done anything to them. And I think in my best of 2016 video, I said the same thing. But I'm really just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade. And I use the color Dark Brown. I love this. So much I've clearly been using it for over four years now this is my second container though this is like about a year's worth of use with in between switching it up in there with a brow pencil here and there but I just love pomades because I have a lot of eyebrows and pencils just finish way too quickly for me so this is just I think way more bang for your buck I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera though because I do have a brow tutorial which I will link up above somewhere if you want to see how I do that hey guys so I have done my eyebrows and I did one eye off camera just so that we could save a little bit of time you know um and whatnot and obviously I'm going to show you guys how I got this eye on this eye um for my favorite eyeshadow palette of 2017 I feel like eyeshadow palettes are actually really really difficult to pick from because Obviously, each one serves a different purpose and they're doing different things. But when I had to think about all the ones that I did get for this year, my favorite one, hands down, has to be the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I absolutely love this palette. I did tape my little thingy here so I could remember the names. So I can tell you guys when I create these looks which names um, of the shadows that I'm using. I just love this palette because I think you have a lot of really good neutrals. If you want to be a little bit bright you have this really nice pop of color here and then these are more darker kind of cool tone colors. I just think that this is a great palette overall. So to begin, nothing has changed from my last video. My favorite eye primer is still my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Laying Low. Um, and bruh, is this thing laying low. I have actually hit pan. I can see through this. But I absolutely just love this. I think it's a really nice thick formula. I think it could be too thick for some people, but for me... I love that consistency of it um so I am gonna just use this brush it's from like B mini and it's a flat angled brush I love using this to apply my um, paint pot on my eyelids also I forgot to mention this earlier for carving out my eyebrows I did use my NARS soft matte complete concealer I use the shade Amand I love this so much it's such a great formula so I did just zoom you guys in closer so you guys could see what I was doing to my little little eyelid and if I look over to the side it's because that's where my mirror is um, or whatever so just ignore that I just sloppily put this primer paint pot all over my eyelid 
and then I work it in with the brush and then I'll work it in with my finger a little bit more. To set that, I'm gonna grab my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder and just quickly set that um, and whatnot because this is a cream-based product. But to begin our look, I'm gonna go into the shade Creamsicle and I'm just gonna put that all over our crease. Just, you know, nice windshield wiper slash circular motions all over the crease. This is one of my favorite shades from this palette, actually. Um, I will say the only downside to this palette is that there's no mirror and I have to use another mirror and another mirror right next to me. But the shades are just so good in here that I really can't complain that much. And I am still adding creamsicle just until... I get the consistency that I like. I'm very sorry if you just heard those trucks. Ah, it's very annoying. And then I'm going to take a tapered blending brush and I'm going to the shade Hunts. And I'm going to put that in my crease as well. I absolutely love this shade Hunts. It is so pigmented and so beautiful. It just always gives you that nice umph that you're looking for in a um, makeup look. And another thing about this palette for me is I feel like it's so travel friendly. Like I traveled a lot these past um, this past month or so, just like back and forth between here and Philly and like and then fit Philly to like other places. And I just always brought this palette with me because I loved it that much. So I'm just still applying hunts in the same circular windshield wiper motion. So now with more of a flatter brush like this, this one's by Kylie. Um, this is not part of her new brush collection. Don't get it twisted. This is from the uh, little set that she had released with um, the Royal Peach palette or whatever. Don't get that twisted. I'm going to go into this shade called Enchanted and I'm going to pack that all over like the inner third and outer third of my eye and the upper crease. With that shade, I pack it and then I just you know, slightly blend out the edges, but I'm gonna blend out the edges even more with that other brush I was using earlier with Hunts. Um, I did not put any product on this. This is just the same, you know, whatever residue was left from earlier, just to make sure we have a nice blend going on. And then I'm gonna pack a little bit more color just for a little bit more oomph. And now, to cut the center of my lid for that halo eye effect, I am going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It is very liquidy, so it's really good for cutting like your your lid. Um, I did try to use my NARS um, Soft Matte one. Not good for cutting creases because it's too like it's too thick of a formula. Not that that's bad, but it's just like not. It just dried too fast for my liking to apply like shimmer shadows on top. So I'm just going to take a little bit on this really small little elf, small precision brush here. And then we are going to cut the center of my lid. Watch me struggle for this because I swear to God, I never know what to do with my eyes. Just like that. And then I'm going to use another flat brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade called SBN and put that all over the part where we have concealer. Then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the shade right next to SBN called Obsessed. Um, just to give the middle part a little bit more of a pop, you know? Just right down in the center, just a little bit more. And you're like, ugh, that looks really rough. I'm going to go back in with this brush, and I'm just going to blend out those edges. I did not put any new product on this, by the way. I am just simply blending lightly over the edges so that we don't have any harsh lines of demarcation. My favorite primer for this year was definitely the Hourglass Mineral Veil Oil-Free Primer. I went through a small version of it that I initially bought, um, and then I decided, you know, I loved it so much, I'm gonna buy the big version. This was a little bit pricey, but... I thought it was worth it. So yeah, I definitely thought um I definitely thought that this was worth the coins, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some just like about a pump. It does go a long way. I will say that this does leave a bit of like a white cast on your face if you're 
you know, a darker person. However, it's not like it's going to shine through your um, foundation or anything like that. So that's perfectly fine. So then to set my primer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. This powder here, I'm actually almost done with it. I did just get the new Maybelline powder that everybody's talking about. But I absolutely love this powder for like setting my primers. I always set my primers because I do have oily skin. And I just feel like it helps, you know, a bit with keeping the oils back and at bay obviously like i've already put a very decent like good primer that would do that but i don't like to mess around with my oils so you know it's just i'm gonna just keep doing this if you've been following me for a while you know that i do this um and now that we're talking about following me if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for you may as well just do it because i guarantee you it's it's fun over here. We have a nice little kooky family and um, we have fun. That's what we do. For foundation this year, my favorite foundation of the year, I'm just, just going to go ahead and say it was Fenty. Kill me. I really didn't buy many new foundations this year. Um, so I really, really enjoyed Fenty. And I'm actually like, I only have this much left. And I never finished foundations this fast. The only other foundation I did finish this year was the Anastasia Stick Foundation, which I absolutely really, really loved for everyday quick on the go. But girl, if you're trying to look beat and have your face slay, Fenty, I, Fenty got you there. I am the shade 400. I know it's really weird. I'm like, really? I'm 400, but it does work for me. I do like it. I think because this quote unquote oxidizes or whatever when it does it becomes my perfect perfect shade to apply it i am going to use the fenty foundation brush okay guys so now for concealer for my under eyes i am going to use my tarte shape tape and i use the shade deep i'm gonna admit that when i first got this i was like mm, i really know how i feel about this but in the past couple months i've actually really fallen in love with this product and i think that it's really really great and then to contour my face, I am going to use this NYX Highlight and Sculpt Face Duo. I really like this. Um, I like the contouring side. I don't care for the highlighting part. Um, this is the shade Espresso and Honey. I'm hoping that the contour is Espresso. I'm just going to put that right there. I don't usually contour my nose that much, but for today, we'll just do it. You know what I mean? Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of um, the Boy in This Way concealer in the center of my nose, just because this one's a little lighter, and I don't like a super bright nose concealer. So we're just going to let the concealer sit a little bit. This is a trick that I learned from Jackie Ina um, here on YouTube as well, and um, it just like allows your, uh, you know, concealer to give you more coverage when it dries down a little bit and I know with this one I have a little bit of time to you know do what I gotta do so I'm just gonna blend out my contour using this stippling brush from e.l.f. Now that all of that is blended out, I'm going to go ahead and use my Laura Mercier powder in the shade Medium Deep. Guys, I have been obsessed with this powder. I am waiting on another powder to take its place. I have used this religiously since I got it. I love it. I love it. And sometimes I do mix it with the original Laura Mercier if I want like a brighter um, under eye. But I do use this to set my entire face, though, because it is, um, you know, more like skin tony. Because I don't really think I bake like with a lot of powder, but I do let this sit on my face while I, um, you know, finish up everything else. Oh, can't forget the forehead. And this definitely does keep the shine at bay I will say that much for it um and it's just really really great 
So to move on and um, while all of that is baking, I'm going to go ahead and finish the under eye. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do for the under eye, but let's just smoke it out and see what happens. Um, to do so, I'm going to use this shade called Chip. I'm just going to put that under my eye. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that enchanted shade as well, just to put in this outer third. Now, I think we're done with the under eye. Moving on to mascara. This year, my favorite mascara was definitely the Tarte Tarteiste mascara. I think I got a sample of this in one of my like Ipsy or Sephora boxes, and then I just couldn't stop using it, and I just absolutely loved it. I'm just going to quickly coat my lashes so that we can move on to lashes. Well, false ones, that is. Okay, so now moving on to lashes, I will say that this was the year that I learned to love lashes and how much they, you know, really accentuate a look or whatever that you're doing. Um, my favorite lashes for this year were definitely the Ardell Wispy Lashes. However, I am obviously out of those right now because something's wrong with my entire existence. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly apply these Kiss Lashes off camera. Um, and then I'll be back to finish my face and just wrap this entire video up. So just to quickly finish my face, I'm going to use my NARS contour blush in the shade Gina. Guys, I've hit pan. I'm very sad. So far I actually discolor this, continue this color. And I'm very upset because obviously I want to order it again because it's my favorite contour product. And now I have to order it directly from NARS, which is fine, but like I wanted my Sephora points and now I got to go out of my way because they decided to discontinue it. But that's neither here nor there. These lashes look really cute. Very popping. And I do use this e.l.f. Um, blending brush that Alyssa Ashley put me on to because I love her channel as well. And um, she like swore by this brush and I picked one up from Target for like six bucks and... It has legitimately changed my contour game. And then for blush this year, my favorite blush was definitely California by Benefit. It's a really cute, pretty little blush. It just adds the right amount of like, you know, color to your cheeks. It's peachy and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't know, something about this blush is just it's just bumping. It's just like, you know, it's cute. It's like a cute little addition. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I really love it. And before I move on to highlight, I'm going to dust away my face um, lightly because honestly, the powder really set into my face. So it's not like I'm dusting away too much, but I just like to do this in case I have any harsh lines or anything just to um, get rid of all of that. So now this year... I have two favorite highlighters. Um, I came into this year not really into highlighters, and now I think I have more than one should have. I, you know, Rihanna just had to do it and come out with these kilowatt highlighters. The combo that I really love is the Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge. Look at mine, it's dusty, it's crusty, and I've been using this. Um, I also like putting a little bit of Trophy Wife on top of this sometimes just to add in a little bit of that gold reflex. I don't know, it just does something for me. So I'm going to go in with the shade Ginger Binge with this little um, Morphe brush that I absolutely love as well for highlighting. I'm just going to put on the high points of my cheeks. I don't like to over highlight, so I just do a little subtle thing, um, you know. But I am into it more than um, I was, say, in 2016. Because in 2016, I was just like, eh, I don't like highlighting. I'm so over this. What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. But now, I'm really enjoying it. I really, really like it a lot. Um, something I forgot to do was the inner corners of my eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and use that shade again from the Jaclyn Hill palette called Obsessed. And I'm going to put that in my inner eye corner. Just a little bit of obsessed there, nothing, you know, to worry about. Before I put on my lip product, I'm going to set on my face with my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I love this. It's my second bottle for the year. I do still have the old packaging because I keep finding them at Nordstrom Rack. And I guess they're trying to get rid of the old ones, so I'm buying the old ones. I do not need the new packaging for $30 and I can get this for $18. You know what I'm saying? 
So now for lips, I have a few lip options that were my favorite for 2017, but I already know which one I'm going to go for. Um, when it came to liquid lips, I really, really enjoyed eh, Kylie's birthday shade in the shade 20. I loved it. I thought it was a really gorgeous color. For gloss, I really love Sepia by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like, honestly, if I needed something on my lips and I was in a rush, this was the only gloss I was reaching for. Just because it also has a little bit sh um, of tint in it. I loved Anastasia's liquid lip in the shade Trust Issues. It's a beautiful mauve shade. I loved it a lot. Another color that I really liked was the NYX Lip Lingerie. And I can't find the shade that I had. I think I left it in my sister's purse. Um, because she borrowed it and clearly never gave it back, but it was this really nice cool tone brown and it was perfect on me and I absolutely loved it. And a uh, uh, lip liner I loved this year was the Rimmel London Cafe Au Lait. Thank you Patrick Star for just hyping this up and it was actually really great. And then of course I absolutely loved the Fenty Gloss Balm, which is the combination I'm going to do today. I'm going to pair these two together. I love it. You can wear this on on top of a lip liner or alone on top of a liquid lip this is just a gorgeous gloss and I'm so glad that glosses are kind of making a comeback because I happen to really like glosses I don't know about you guys the look is done the look is absolutely done guys I love the way that this came out because obviously I was using all of my favorite products from 2017 and if you put all your favorites together something's bound to come out looking good. I think I look really really good right now. I love this. I think this went really great with this wig that I chose out for today. This wig is on its outs but I'm still going to use it because it's still a pop in color. I love it. I think that this is really gorgeous and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below what were some of your favorite products for 2017. I am very excited about 2018. I have a lot of video ideas planned for you guys. I am going to try to skip to my schedule. I'm trying to grow my channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of that is underscore it's Jilly. It's going to pop up somewhere on the screen per usual. Everything I used will be listed down below as well as my shades. Just in case you guys, um, you know, wanted to recreate any of this or needed reference for yourselves. Again, Happy New Year, and I hope that this year brings us a lot of joy and success, and you know, let's just get to the grinding. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.